The Jedi Temple Guards are shrouded in mystery, so who exactly are the Jedi Temple Guards? The Temple Guards are a specialized group within the Jedi Order. It is an ancient tradition in the Jedi and one held with the utmost honor. These guards are responsible for protecting the Jedi Temple on Coruscant and ensuring the security of Jedi artifacts, knowledge, and the entirety of the Temple itself. The captain of the Temple Guard, Kolama Ri, is quoted as saying this, A Temple Guard's mask and robes confer anonymity and symbolize emotional detachment. During guard service, you surrender your identity, your weapon, and everything else. Only your commitment to the Order remains. The Temple Guards reported directly to Sandralig, the head of security for the Jedi Temple on Coruscant. Master Dralik was an apprentice to Master Yoda and also was the Jedi Order's battle master. The primary mission of the Jedi Temple Guards is to safeguard the Jedi Temple, which serves as a spiritual and educational center of the Jedi Order. They protect the temple from threats both external and internal. Additionally, they are entrusted with the protection of the most important Jedi artifacts and archives stored within the temple. An example of situations the Temple Guards would respond to would be the Jedi Temple bombing in the Clone Wars animated series. During this arc, they ended the lightsaber duel between Barriss Afi and Anakin Skywalker once Skywalker discovered it was her who framed Ahsoka for the terrorist act. The Jedi Temple Guards are instantly recognizable by their distinctive robes and masks. These masks obscure their identities and symbolize their commitment to their duty. Their uniforms are designed to evoke a sense of mystery and anonymity. The armor of the Temple Guards contained layers of armor weave, which held up against blaster and lightsaber attacks. The mask of the Temple Guard had more than meets the eye as well. Incorporated into the helmet were a comlink and a scanner. Also shown on the Temple Guard's belts were sets of keys which allowed them to access many areas of the temple and even the restricted areas. Jedi Temple Guards wield double-bladed yellow lightsabers, which are rare within the Jedi Order. The choice of a double-bladed lightsaber, as well as the yellow blade color, is symbolic of their unique role and status. There were, however, some single-blade configurations. Each lightsaber assigned to the Temple Guards helped keep their anonymity. Becoming a Jedi Temple Guard is a prestigious honor within the Jedi. Jedi who wish to become guards must undergo rigorous training and demonstrate exceptional skill with a lightsaber. They are chosen from the ranks of Jedi Knights and undergo specialized instruction to fulfill their roles effectively. The most important aspect of serving in the Temple Guard is absolute emotional detachment. Jedi Temple Guards are known for their unwavering commitment to their duties and a strict code of silence. They rarely speak and maintain an aurora of mystery. This commitment to silence symbolizes their dedication to meditation and contemplation within the Temple. The Jedi Temple Guards have made appearances in various Star Wars media, including the animated series Star Wars The Clone Wars and Star Wars Rebels. The Jedi Temple Guards and their unique attributes are symbolic of the Jedi Order's commitment to peace, knowledge, and the preservation of the Force. Their role reinforces the idea that Jedi are not just warriors, but also keepers of wisdom and protectors of ancient knowledge. With the rise of the Galactic Empire and the execution of Order 66, many Jedi Temple Guards met tragic fates. As Anakin, now Lord Vader, marched up the steps of the Jedi Temple, one of the Temple Guards recognized him and uttered his name before Anakin cut him down. One of the most infamous Jedi Temple Guards is none other than the Grand Inquisitor. It is rumored that he may have killed most of the Temple Guards in the Jedi Temple to allow Lord Vader and the 501st easier access to fulfilling Lord Sidious's orders. We see the Grand Inquisitor in Star Wars Rebels, in the Jedi Temple on Lothal. Here he puts Kanan Jarrus up against the Jedi Trials and then proceeds to knight him after Kanan passes the test. We see many artifacts of the Jedi Temple Guards in various Star Wars media as well. Grand Admiral Thrawn and Gracchus the Hutt are both known to have had a Jedi Temple Guard helmet in their collections. 
We also see one in Luthan Rail's collection in Andor. Not only do the Jedi Temple Guards fascinate us in real life, but they also seem to spark the interest of many in the Star Wars universe. In Legends, most of what we know about the Temple Guards is much of the same. We do get some backstory though that may come true in canon eventually, or it may not. The Jedi Temple Guards were established thousands of years prior to the Galactic War. This war was fought between a Galactic Republic and a re-emerging Sith Empire. From there, they continued their service to the Jedi until the rise of the Empire. The Jedi Temple Guards are ones of mystery, which is why we all are so drawn to them. By far one of the most underutilized groups in the Star Wars universe, I hope that we will see more of them in the future. Let us know in the comments below what is your favorite aspect of the Jedi Temple Guards, and as always, may the Force be with you.